March 26th, the Blue Lagoon. It's Blue Lagoon This is where we just were in. After successful swim, this is the view while leaving. Kind of nuts. We got dinner at a sports bar where they have a million TVs all playing one game. So we watched a soccer game and I was watching basketball. Whoever has ox here loves Beyonce. Hello, Sun Rock. Yes, sir. It snowed this morning. There's some really cool architecture here. I'm just trying to save my back. It's gonna be a long day and uh, they are they are trying to kill us. We're gonna try for about one and a half hour. As you probably know, uh, Reykjavik is the, the capital city of Iceland and it's slightly resembling what normally is called the city. Uh, there are about 130,000 people, so these uh, systems become active and uh, you can see there's a lot of steam coming from there that's because this is the Icelandic cloud factory this is where we make all our clouds you can see they've been busy nah kidding it's a it's a geothermal power plant uh, most powerful one in Iceland we've got several of those geothermal power plants but this is the biggest one it used to be the biggest one in the world for a while but then the Americans had to build a big one yeah, we don't have that many world records here in Iceland. If somebody takes them away from us, we don't take it like These things works is that we, we drill holes down into the ground here, and then we take the hot water through pipes, turn the, the heat of the water into electricity, and then we have to get rid of the surplus water. Can we take the water away from you? can see the pipes here, the big pipes on the right. It's not hot enough to use it anymore. Yeah, this is green energy uh, but there's always some pollution that, that in this case is mostly CO2 by doing it this way these the CO2 will go into the ground it will solidify it and turn into and minerals uh, not pollute at all the only downside to doing this to, to pumping the water back into the ground it is that seems like it uh, sort of freezes the rate of earthquakes in the area and uh, this was already the most active earthquake area in Iceland. This is the first stop on our bus tour today. The Skolafoss waterfall. all the way up there. It doesn't look that big, but in real life, it's pretty high. <laughs> Very nice. One of the sea cliff lookouts along the southern coast. Get a glimpse of the black sea and beaches.
Whoa, crazy. just a little uh silly this is the black sand beach the waves are extremely big it probably doesn't look like it but they're just nuts it's just actually unbelievable and unreal like what so the rocks that are lower Probably one of the best views I think I've ever witnessed in my life. It's just so vast. So many caves and the water is so big. Like you can't tell, but these waves go deep and then come out. Wow. On the way back to the bus. To give you an idea how fast the laser is receiving, uh, up to a little bit ago, at least all the way down there to the point. All this has um, been happening fast. Thank you. 